Hello and welcome to lesson 30 in our Free Code Camp's HTML and CSS section. This challenge is asking us to add a submit button to a form. Last lesson we uh, added, oh yeah, where our information is set, sent using the form. We wrapped our text field inside of a form and gave it the action of submit cat photos, which is right here. So this time we're just adding a button inside of the form. Clicking this button will send the data from your form to the URL you specified with your form's action attribute. Here's an example submit button. You got a button with type submit. This button submits the form and then the closing tag. It tells us add a submit button to your form element with type submit and submit as its text. So if we go down to the bottom of our code, we have our form element here. All it's telling us is to make put a button inside of it. You could put it on top on top of here, but then it will be on top or on the left of cat photo URL. And we probably want it under it or to the right of it, because you know, after we type something in here, then we want to, you know, be prompted to click a button to submit it, um, whatever it is that we wrote in here. So ideally we'll put it under. And we'll put a button and then our closing tag. So, as you can see, there's this little small button here, but since there's no text inside of it, um, you know, it doesn't do anything. Well, I actually clicked it, shouldn't have clicked it. Uh, how can I refresh it? Maybe run test. Okay, so we need to inside of it our button we want it to say submit so now it says submit we could change it to say whatever we want like click me or click here or you know whatever you want here they're telling us to write submit so the text in there submit let's see add a submit button to your form element with type submit so we gotta let we gotta specify the type of button it is so that it knows that it's a submit button. So here we just would write submit because that's the type of button it is. So once this this button would be clicked, like let's say they type in here a URL for a cat photo, you know, like from Google Images and they'd write it there, you know, google.com slash cat photo. And then once they click submit, it should send it to whatever URL was specified in our form's action um, URL. So let's see, your your submit button should have the attribute type set to submit, which we did right here. Your submit button should only have the text submit. And that's the only text we put in there. And I think that's all of them, that's all of them. Let's try submitting this. It's good.